Hi, this is Tamara at MooglyBlog.com, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make my free pattern, the Pick Your Pony Beanie. Again, that's a free pattern on MooglyBlog.com, so you can get the pattern there. There will be links in the description, and you can print it out and follow along. Here I have two of my Pick Your Pony beanies uh, that comes in two sizes, a child size and an adult size. And it is made using Lion Brand Homespun. You can see right here, a true classic. And an N-hook, or a 9mm hook. This one is by Furls. I've got several different colorways here. This one is the Prairie colorway I'll be using to demonstrate today. And then here we have one made in Sunday stripes. Um, because it's a child size hat, I didn't get any of the stripes, but that's still a pretty pink. And then this one is made with the Tudor colorway. Now you probably noticed the buttons on the child size one here, and these are actually in the back of the hat. And this is a little different from most of the ponytail or messy, messy bun hats you've probably seen, in that instead of having one hole in the top, this hat actually features a, an opening, let me get my hand in there so you can properly see it, all the way from the top to the bottom that is closed up with these buttons. There's two buttons, so it's adjustable to the size of the head, which so that I'm able to have two hat patterns that fit anywhere from age three on up. And with this style of messy bun hat or ponytail hat, you don't have to wear your ponytail, your bun right at the top of the hat. You can wear it anywhere down towards the nape of your neck. So it's just got a lot more flexibility and you can even wear it without a ponytail and it still closes up nicely. So once again, this is the child sized one. So this is actually the front of the hat. It's a very simple hat and half double crochet beanie with some ribbing for the brim. This is the adult size. I love this colorway. Um, once again, this is the Tudor colorway. So pretty. And you can see on the back of this one, we've got our two buttons again. So when you put that hook down, when you, you can put it on already buttoned and just slip your ponytail or your bun through the hole, or you can put it on open so that you don't mess up your hair and close it up afterwards. And I'll show you on a quick mannequin really quickly at the end of this tutorial how that works. But let me set these finished ones aside for now and we can get started making one together. Okay, so let's begin. With this pattern, I like to leave a nice long tail because we'll be beginning with a magic circle. If you're not familiar with the magic circle, also known as the magic ring, you can find a tutorial for it on my YouTube channel or on my blog. So after I've begun my ring here, I'm going to work 11 half double crochets in that ring. Let me pull that up. When I work my magic circle, I make sure to go around both the ring itself and the tail end, and that helps me close it up nice and tight. So once again, round one is 11 half double crochets in that magic ring. And then from there, I'll be able to show you the trick to this hat. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one more, and eleven. Oh, all the yarns I've pulled up is trying to join me here on the table. There we go. All right, so I've made my eleven half double crochets, and with this yarn it can be hard to count your stitches, but the key to that is to look at, if you can, try and look for those top V's, those top two loops. Makes it a little bit easier to catch count, excuse me, your stitches with this yarn. Um, or you can just count as you go, like I just did, that helps too, but we all know how interruptions happen. So after we've worked our 11 half double crochets, normally if we were working in the round we would join to that first stitch, but this hat is different, as you've seen. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pull on that tail to close up that magic ring, there we go, give it a good tug. And then when I'm done with my hat, I will take that end and I will weave it in really well, both directions, so that it doesn't come open. So with round one done, rather than joining, what we're going to do is turn. So I'm going to chain one and turn to go back the other direction in the circle. And then as we increase over the next few rows, it's always going to be kind of the same pattern. We're going to work one half double crochet in the first stitch, then we're going to work our increases over the next nine stitches, or however many stitches, until there's one stitch left, and then that'll have one in it as well. So for this round, we're gonna work kind of standard increases if you're familiar with working in a circle. We're gonna start with our one half double crochet and then work two half double crochets in each, each stitch until we get to the last one and that just gets one again. 
So I will go ahead and get started on those. So we've got one, two in the next stitch, two in the next stitch, and then by the time, of course, we get to the end of this row, we will have 20 stitches. So I'll see you at the end of this row. So here I am at the end of row two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work that last stitch there. Oops, I missed one of the loops. Let's do that again. I'm gonna go under both of the loops of that last stitch. There we go. And that is the end of row two. Now, like I said, we're working in rows. Even though we started with a magic circle, we're gonna be going back and forth. And this looks like it has a pretty good gap in it right now, but as you work the hat and then work the brim, this will actually close up pretty nicely. So don't worry too much about having a big hole essentially at the back of your head. So for row three, we are going to chain one and turn. And this is, again, the same sort of setup. We'll work one half double crochet in the first stitch, and then we'll work sort of the standard increase for row round three of a circle. We're going to work one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochets in the stitch of after that. One, two, one, two, one, two. So that every time we work a new row in this pattern, we'll increase by nine stitches. So with our half double crochet in the first one, we'll half double crochet in the next, and then two half double crochets in the stitch after that. And when we get to the end of the row, we'll work a single half double crochet in the very last stitch. So that at the end of row three, we will have 29 stitches. So I'll see you at the end of this row. Alrighty, so here we are at the end of round three. We've got our 29 stitches made. Sort of looks a little bit like a lily pad at this point, doesn't it? We've got our increases happening, one in each, one half double crochet at the beginning and end of each row with our increases in the middle that give us this nice round shape, and this is three rows in. Now if you're making the adult size hat, you'll keep increasing through five rows. If you are making the child size hat, you only increase through four rows. So if we're making the child size hat, we only have one more row to make. If we're making the adult hat, we'd have two more rows to make. So let's go ahead and start round four together. I'm going to start with a chain one again and a half double crochet in that very first stitch. And then if you haven't already picked up on it, we've got our standard increases. So I'll half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, two in the one after that. One, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around with one single half double crochet in the last stitch. So we'll do our first repeat here together. Two half double crochets, one in the next, each of the next two stitches, followed by two half double crochets in the stitch after that and I will see you at the end of round four. Okay, so this is the end of round four. Now, like I said, if you are making the child size hat, this is all the further you increase. From here, you'll be working even until we get to the brim. If you're making the adult size hat, what I would do is chain one, work one half double crochet in the first stitch, then half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then two in the next one. One, 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 two, one, 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 two, all the way around until at the end of round five for the adult hat, you would have 47 stitches. Once again, increasing by nine. So for the sake of time though, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this a child size hat and say we're done increasing. So what we would do from here is for the next, um, let me see, it would be five rows. And this is again, teen, adult, well the adult size or the child size, either one, you're going to make five rows worked even. So worked even, that just means you chain one and half double crochet in each stitch across. That's it, we do that for five rows. So since you don't need to watch me do that, we'll come back after I've done one of these. I'm only gonna go ahead and do one so we can move on to the brim because my kids will be home from school soon. And uh, I'm sure you don't wanna watch me just make half double crochets for half an hour here. So I will see you at the end of this row. Alrighty, so here we are. We've worked one row, worked even, and it looks like it's still growing, but really, and I know it's a little bit harder to see. This is a dark yarn, but I didn't want to use a light yarn and have you not be able to see it at all. You can see it's actually starting to scoop up a little bit. Of course, it should be going this way, but we just flip it over. There we go. And it's starting to look more like a hat. Now, let me pull up the two finished ones here again. You can see, this is the child size one, the one we've been making here. 
And if I kind of fold it into a hat shape, you can see we've gotten about this far. And all this is just working even until we get to the brim. So that means just one half double crochet in each stitch for five rows. So then we begin the brim. So let me go ahead and put these aside again. We're gonna pretend that we've worked our five rows of even stitches and now we're ready to begin the brim. This is going to be a funky, not very wearable hat that we're making, but on your end, hopefully you've made all five rows and you're ready to begin the brim. So to begin the brim, the adult size and the child size are slightly different here. Um, beyond stitch count, there's just a few very small changes. So you'll need to reference the written pattern, um, but if you've watched one, you should be able to make the other pretty easily. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to chain four. One, oops, <laughs> dropped my hook. Two, three, and four. And then we're going to come back and work along this chain to extend uh, this next row a little bit. So what I wanna do is turn a little bit and skip the chain closest to the hook right here. And then we're going, to, we're going to work three half double crochets in the next three chains. So those three chains that were left, we have one, two, three. So I want to skip that fourth one that was closest to the hook. And I do like to work in the bottom of the chain here, but you can work into whatever part of the chain pleases you. So working the chain always takes a little bit longer, doesn't it? There's two. Got one more to go. There we are. And I'll just turn this hat to keep working back the other direction. And from here, with our three new half double crochets, I'm gonna go ahead and half double crochet even again in each of those stitches. So at the end of this round, we will have a total of 41 stitches in the child size hat. The adult size hat is exactly the same for this row, but at the end of that one, we'll have 50 stitches. So child size, 41, adult size, 50. You'll notice that's a nine stitch difference, and I talked about increasing nine stitches with each row at the beginning there when we're increasing at the crown of the hat. So that's the difference there. So we'll get to the end of this row before we head back the other way and create some ribbing. All right, so for the child size hat, we're at the end of what we're calling round 10, or excuse me, row 10. Uh, for the adult size hat, that would be row 11. And so what we're going to do now is chain one, and turn come back the other direction here. We're gonna half double crochet in the first five stitches. Again, that's the same for both sizes. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we are going to back post double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the next stitch and then repeat that. Back post, half double, back post, double, Let's, let me try that again. Back post double crochet, half double crochet, back post double crochet, half double crochet. And we're going to do that a set number of times for each size. For the adult size hat, we would do that 21 times. For the child size hat, we're gonna do that 16 times. So that would be 32 stitches total. To make a back post half double crochet, and I know this yarn is a little bit harder to see, but if I pull it open here, and this is a good trick for you too when you're making it at home, Hold it over something pale like this. Um, get like a pillowcase or a sheet or something and put it on your lap and use a nice bright light and you'll be able to see your stitches that much easier. So to work around the next stitch, we're gonna find the next half double crochet there and we're going to work a back post double crochet. So we yarn over, come from behind and just go right around the post of that stitch. Pull up our loop and finish the back post double crochet like so. Then we half double crochet in the next stitch. Now the important thing to remember is that you wanna skip the top of the stitch that you back post dub double crocheted around. We don't wanna work into the top of that. If you do that, you'll start increasing, which is about the last thing you wanna do on a brim. The brim, we want it to be nice and, well not tight, but to fit the head so the hat stays on. So make sure you skip the top of that stitch and go to the next one. So it can look like you're actually skipping a whole stitch, but really you're just moving to the next stitch. So we do our half double crochet like so. Then we find our next post here and do another back post double crochet. And then a half double crochet in the next stitch. And continue that, um, like I said, until you have 
21 back post double crochets followed by a half double crochet for the adult size or 16 of those sets for the child size. So I'll see you when I have finished those up. Okay, so when you've made 16 back post double crochets, remember you've got a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then at that point, you'll know you're at the end because you'll have four stitches left right here on your the little tab that will become our buttonhole tab. So we're gonna work four half double crochets right into these last four stitches. So three, and four. And I'm going to give you a little tip here. With this yarn, as you've seen, and if you've worked with it before, you can see you don't see a whole lot of definition with it. Um, it's a beautiful yarn with great colors and great colorways, but it's not real, um, it doesn't show a lot of stitch definition, but you can use that to your advantage here. If you're making the ribbing and you find that somewhere maybe you skipped an extra one behind the post stitches or your count got just a little bit off and you can't really see where, go ahead and use that to your advantage. Shift things over a little bit if you need to. Um, pull one of the half double crochets over if you only end up with three stitches or work it out. Um, you know, just go ahead and fudge it a little bit. With this yarn, it's really very beginner friendly uh, in terms of hiding your mistakes. So just a little tip for me to you about this homespun yarn. So now we're ready to begin our third row of the brim. So for the adult size, that's 13. For the child, that's row 12. So we're gonna start them both the same again. We're gonna chain one, half double crochet in the first two stitches, one and two, and then we're gonna make our buttonhole. Very simple. We chain one, skip the next stitch, and half double crochet in the stitch after that. And that's all there is to that. That little hole we just made by chaining one and skipping one will be our buttonhole. So you wanna make sure when you buy buttons to get one big enough to fit in that hole. Um, again, in the pattern, there's a link to the buttons I used. So, But you can, of course, use whatever buttons you like. So after we've got that half double crochet done, this row does deviate a little bit between teen, or excuse me, between the adult size and the child size. So what you wanna do uh, for the child size is make yet another half double crochet, right there. And then we begin more of our ribbing because the back post double crochets that we made on this side are now in front. We're gonna make a front post double crochet around each of these back post double crochets and then half double crochet in the half double crochet. So let's go ahead and get started with that. We'll yarn over. Work a front post double crochet around that post stitch there, followed by a half double crochet in the half double crochet. And we do this on a cross, working all the way across so that in the adult size, again, we'll have 21 post stitches and then a half double crochet in between each of those. And then we just half double crochet in those last few stitches, those last few half double crochets there. That's where we'll sew down our button or at least our first button, so we've got a nice flat piece of fabric there without the ribbing. So go ahead and do that, and I will see you at the end of this row. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row where we made our buttonhole. You can see it's right there. And we made more post stitches all the way around. They're a little bit easier to see now, I think. One, two, three, four. If you hold them up this way, they're a little bit easier yet to see, at least on camera. Um, and then at the end, we worked even for a few stitches so that we've got a relatively flat surface to sew our first button to. So from here, it's pretty self-explanatory. We would chain one, go back the other direction, work a half double crochet in each half double crochet, work a back post double crochet around each back post double crochet until you get to the end of the row. And then what we're gonna do here at the tab, our buttonhole tab, is work a half double half double crochet in each half double crochet plus a half double crochet in the chain one space. So we'll be back to our stitch count there. The row after that we chain one and work back the other way just working even a half double crochet in each half double crochet and working back this way it would be a front post double crochet in each front post double crochet. So let me go ahead and pull these hats up again. I think it's a little bit easier to see with this lighter color which surprised me but you can see the ribbing we do the ribbing for four rows essentially so that it's a five row brim and that's for the, both the adult and the child size. And then 
remember we were working even and sort of flat on each end. Let me set that one aside. You can see we've got our flat section here without a hole has a button. Plus I put a hole, or excuse me, I put a button in between these two ribs right here. So that's nicely spaced. And then when we worked in our buttonhole tab, I worked one of the half double crochets right into that chain space to give me a nice size hole. So then when I put the hat on, although I can't put this one on, this is the child size, I can go ahead and button it there on the loosest setting or for those who have a slightly smaller head, you can button it on the second one in and that just creates a little bit tighter brim and a little bit more overlap here. So let me do one more thing here before we finish up this tutorial. And I'm kind of working tightly here. Let me see if we can pull the camera out just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how this fits on an actual head. Well, a glass head, because that's what I have. So I have the adult size here. And like I said, I could go ahead and unbutton it if I actually had a ponytail or a bun uh, already on this head, but I don't. So I just want to show you how it fits. You can go ahead and just slide it right on like so. And then in back, you can see that when you're just wearing it, there isn't a whole lot of hole here. Um, depending on how much hair, how much how big your head is, you'll have a little bit more of a gap um, in that slit there than others. But with the hat on, you can wear a high ponytail or high messy bun, sort of the standard that you've been seeing on most of the hats out lately. Or you can wear it anywhere in here. Um, you can wear your ponytail down lower. You can wear a nice chignon. Is that how you pronounce that? one of those low buns, uh, whatever style you prefer. And again, even on this adult size, I'm able to call it both a teen, small adult, and a large adult because we've got this great button system where we can just tighten it up as needed. And this one's great too, especially if you don't have your hair up, and that will close that gap up there just that little bit more. And then in the front, it's just a beautiful beanie. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial for the Pick Your Pony beanie and that you give this pattern a try. Once again, the free pattern can be found on mooglyblog.com. Check the links in the description. Uh, if you like this video, please do go ahead and give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.